Controversy trailed the mysterious death of a young lady, 42 year old, named Udosen Glory, who is a popular businesswoman in Niger area of Lagos State. It was reported that he, she died in a road accident. However, there is a mysterious twist surrounding her death. Some of her vital organs were removed from her body and her loved ones have called for proper investigation surrounding her death. So narrating what really transpired, her friend explained that on March 3rd, she called her friend in Lagos with a new number telling her friend, a new Airtel number telling her friend that she just traveled down to Ogbomosho Oyo State from her base at Jal Lagos to, for a business deal. She was contracted for a, an interior decorating job and a painting job in Oyo State. So she also told this her friend that on the that was on the third. So she told her friend that on the fifth of um, this the same month, March, she will be going to Akure on those state to visit one of her sisters called Fola Shade. On the 7th of March, she even updated her social media pages with her pictures and even stated, thank God for joining mercies. After a while, they realized that she has not come online or said anything on her WhatsApp platform where she's an admin. And it is very unusual for her to not say anything on that group. So they started reaching her on her line, but she wasn't taking her calls. They called and called, she wasn't taking her calls. So this her friend that she had initially called on the 3rd with a new line informing her that she was in Obomoshoyo State, now decided to call her on that same new Airtel line. So some other person picked a lady and the lady was saying that it was a wrong number however this friend could overhear some whispers in the background so when she said it was a wrong number other people persons tried the line and the lady kept saying it was a wrong number so um her friends contributed some money and gave to nigeria and uh, civil defense corps for to track her phone mobile number so when they tracked her mobile number they realized that there was a a, a, a contact in her mobile number where she who she had a business deal with in Akure. So they contacted the person. They reached out to the person and the person said that no, that she never saw Rose G. They started going to the police station to report the case. After that one said she never saw Rose G. Meanwhile, it was in her contact that they had a business deal. So when, on their way to report the case at the station, they now got a call from a police station between Ore and um, Shagamu Expressway, right? stating that on the 8th of March, Rose G was involved in an accident that she slumped. However, it was later discovered that she had called Rose G's acquaintance, demanding Rose G's full name, claiming that her pastor wants to pray for her. That's pray for Rose G. That's why she's asking for the full name. Yet, when contacted, you said you never met her. Okay, that's one. Secondly, when Rose G's phone was ransacked, when they went through Rose G's phone, they saw she actually made a contact with this lady. Yeah, this lady denied not seeing her in Akure when she arrived. Okay, Vanguard contacted this uh, um, same lady, Fola Shade, on phone, and she now admitted at that point that, yes, she actually met Rose G, that when Rose G was in Obomosho, she called her to let her know that she's not one more sure but she will be coming to Akure that, to process her results that when she arrived at Akure they both went to the school for her results processing after that they later met and spoke after that Rosgina left Akure for Lagos and that was the last time they saw later she was not saying that when she heard about Rosgina's disappearance was why she contacted Rosji's acquaintance for her phone for her full name so that her pastor could pray for her for her. Hmm. This way no clear at all. Like her breast and her eyes were missing. So who gets an accident and loses body parts? Her breast and eyes were missing. So it's obviously a case of ritual killing. So I really pray that um, as the family and loved ones are calling for justice, justice be truly served because this is so unfair. You do not just take a life you cannot create like that. And most times it is people you trust, people you are close to, people you trust that sell you out. I really pray that justice prevails and her killers are brought to book. Amen.